Hi there and welcome to another one of our tutorials on the different features for the WordPress price comparison plugin. Um, in this tutorial what we're going to cover is how you can set up automated updates of the information that your plugin has. What this is going to achieve is it's going to download by itself the latest feeds for all of your different merchants, either directly from the merchant or through the affiliate network, and it's going to import those new prices and new products into your system so that you don't have to. Um, the beauty of this is that once you've got the feed set up, you never need to worry about downloading or updating the information again. As regularly as they are updated by the merchant or by the affiliate network is however regularly you can change the pricing on your website. So without any further ado, let's just scroll down. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the main dashboard again. This was uh, the bit that we covered in the very first video where you set up the field mapping. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to look for a feed that we can set up. So let's look at, say, gameplay.csv. That is a CSV file that comes from, um, I believe it's from Byat, and it is for the merchant called Gameplay. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down again and go into the Schedule Manager, where you will see all of the different feeds that you have locked into your database. In order for them to appear on this screen, you have to previously go through the field mapping. Once that has been done and imported correctly, then this section will have the details of the CSV files. But you can see there, we've got gameplay.csv. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to update the address where this comes from. We're gonna click on the change button there. And it gives us the, the feed name, whether or not it's enabled, and the period by which we want to update it. So what we're going to say is we only want to update this weekly because it's unlikely that the prices are going to change very quickly. We now have two options, and these options are going to be dictated to you essentially by where you've got the feed from. A lot of the time in my experience, if you're getting the feeds directly from a merchant, they'll probably be in an FTP format, so you, all you'd need to take all you'd need to type in there are the items that they're going to give you. That's going to be the FTP host name, your username and password, and the path to the file, including the file name that you're looking for. Um, this specific example is a feed that I have from an affiliate network. The affiliate network in question is Byat. Um, it's a UK network, so if you're somewhere else in the world, you might not be familiar with it, but it's, it's pretty much the same for for any affiliate network that will work in this kind of way and I've chosen that I want to download it as a CSV uncompressed file and what I'm going to do is scroll down through all of my available feeds I'm going to locate the one that I want I can see I can see it there gameplay and um, I can see that there's 5096 items in that feed which is it's about a hundred more than I've actually currently got imported so that's good we're going to be importing some new products into this site now in this particular network, you have a little download link there, which when you click it, saves the file onto your computer and you can then upload it. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the address of that link. So we're gonna right mouse button and copy link location. I'm of course doing this in Firefox, but uh, most other browsers have got that functionality as well. Let's just copy the link location. Now we're gonna come back into the control panel and we're gonna add that as the HTTP address of that feed. So there it is, that is coming from this address. Now what we're going to do is press update. So that has now saved that address to that. We've got the updated successfully. So that has now worked. If I come back into the schedule manager, the main screen, You can see there that it's set up to happen weekly. It's happening by HTTP and it is enabled. You can do a manual synchronization whenever you want by pressing that button there, the synchronize command on any one of the feeds. And what that does is it just goes out then and there and it downloads the information that you're looking for and it re-imports it back into your database. You should be aware that if you're importing some very large files, there may be yeah, there may be tens or there may be hundreds of megabytes. So consequently, the transfer time for those is going to be the amount of time it takes to get that information from your affiliate network or from your from your merchant onto your web server. 
it could take minutes, it could take 15 or 20 minutes. It, it, it really depends on the size of the feed and the speed of your server. There's one thing to be aware of, however, is that is always going to be much quicker than you downloading the feed yourself and then re-uploading it, as most people's internet connections are nowhere near as fast as the ones that the servers that we use have. So uh, that's how you set up a, a time feed. It's a fantastically easy function to do, and then once you have all of your feeds set up that way, you can uh, just concentrate on getting your site looking as good as you possibly can without having to worry about updating any of the data. That's it. Thank you very much.